back. There's my bestie, Dom. With you trash talking over there. What do you mean, man? I didn't say nothing. What did I say? Dom, you know me. I'm always talking shit. Yeah. So well, it's too bad we couldn't connect a little bit earlier on in the game, to be honest. Um, we did connect, and then you voted me out because um, I turned you against your Italian. There you go. Popcorn ready here. It's gonna. Uh -oh. Do you know what Dom? Do you know what Dom did to me? I would love um... to know what Dom did to you. <laughs> <laughs> Dom. Oh my God! Wait, no. There was a lot Dom did to me. There was one day, Dom came into the manor. He said, "You, you, 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 and you come outside with me. You, 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 you." I was one of the the yous. Stay inside. You're not allowed inside. And then he oh. brought. He segregated the group, and was like. I don't trust those people inside, but you guys I trust. Meanwhile, the people um, he brought outside, one of them was like Mel B. Um, Dom. Mel B was not outside. Your your what? house. Dom. No, it was it was either Mel B or Mike. He brought like one of one or no, two of the traders outside. No, it wasn't outside. Mike either. Dom. You brought one of the traders outside. Plus. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, and then Dom got mad. So. I convinced him that Rick was a traitor, and he was like, you're so smart at this game, and I was like, I know. And then he voted Rick out, and he got so mad at me. The next day at the round table, he just, like, sat at the round table and just, like, stared at me for, like, in silence, like, the entire round table. And I was like, Don, what did I do? <laughs> and then he voted me out for turning him against his Italian. Way to go, Don. That was his, re that was first, his reasoning. First <laughs> off, the people I brought outside was Mary, May, Donna, and uh not who was the other one? Not fear. No, not me. no, he he not left fierce. me. It was like me, it was me, Kevin, Gurleene, I think Kuzi was there. I don't know. He separated separated the whole group and then and we were like, what is Dom doing? We were like, he's obviously not a traitor, because like this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like nobody <laughs> would ever do this if they were a traitor. <laughs> I need Pierce on every episode. You know what? Let's just replace Dom. Let's just yeah. Go. Let's go. I'll I get to it. the nitty gritty Dom dirt. So Dom, do you want to tell the people why you got kicked off? Yeah, why'd you no. get kicked off, Dom? No, I don't want to tell nobody why I got kicked off. I mean, you pretty much told Bruno. Yeah, you no, but me. real, no, but realistically, what you what you said before I even came on here isn't even the reason why I got kicked off. Yes, it is. Someone, I mean, do, bro, Dom wouldn't even tell me why he got kicked off. And he was like giving me all these like reasonings. He's like, oh my god, Bell's gonna find out. I'm like, no one cares. Um, <laughs> and then one of the other castmates told me why he got kicked off. Way to go, Dom. I know what you did, Dom. I, I know, know what, what you, you did, did, Dom. I don't uh, even know how you how you came up with this genius plan of yours. Only Dom. Yep. Yeah, but realistically, if Kevin would have minded his own business at round table, I would have been fine. <laughs> no, you brought it you brought it up at breakfast. Way no, all, go, I Dom. Said, all I so said. So Dom was, did it to himself? Dom I, brought it up at breakfast on camera and no. the producers heard and kicked him off. <laughs> Dom ratted all himself out. Was, Yes. <laughs> all I said was, "Did anybody hear loud music last night?" That's all oh I said. God. Why are you ratting Dumb. yourself out, Dom? I didn't rat myself out. Did anybody hear loud music last night? He ratted himself out. He ratted himself out. I heard someone. I forgot who told me, like Gurlina or someone. Yeah. D Dom told everyone the whole story on camera. Like he didn't even do it in secret. No, like, I on did camera. not. Dom. Yes. Why you would you do that? that breakfast? I did not do that though. Who's giving these stories? Listen, Dom, we know. all know. I have my source. Kareen told me herself. Oh Kareen is God. terrible. She definitely didn't know what happened. <laughs> you love the, 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 host, the host is like, bro, Dom, what are you doing? I do. Did you watch, did you watch the show? Of course, I threw the pot all the time. So, um, let's get an intro in here, guys. Let's, uh, I mean, we all know. I mean, we know. But let's do an intro just so everybody is, uh, is familiar with everybody. Uh, myself, my name is Bruno. I was on Big Brother Canada Season 3 and Season 5. Uh, fierce. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I was on Canada's Drag Race Season 3, um, The Traders Canada Season 1, and Canada vs. the World Season 2. Nice. And then who do we have here, uh, Dom? Dear this is uh, my bestie who voted me out. We were besties for one day, and then he turned on me the next day because I turned him against his Italian. So What a guy. What a guy. Yeah. Morning, I'm not Italian. You know who I am? Season one of Traders Canada, but I'm probably more known for Game of Homes, to be honest. Season okay, Dom, why you gotta add that in? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to add something in. You guys are bashing me this whole time. You guys aren't even telling <laughs> legitimate stories. We haven't even Dom, started. Dom, you bashed that. yourself the entire season. Okay, Fierce is on every week. I don't even care anymore. That's it. Fierce, you're on every week. <laughs> 
Um, all right, so uh, let's get into it a little bit. So um, yeah, so actually, you said Anil's in the in the chat. What's up, Neil? Anil, good to good to see you, buddy. We go we go back. And- I don't know if he's here. He told me to send him the the link because he wanted to watch it, but so, he might join uh, it later. Let's start off with the. Where do you want to start off? What, how does the episode start? Was it the murder right away? The murder, right? Yeah, they, they took. The- uh, we thought it was gonna be Pac Man, but they went with Enoch. Yes. Oh my god, yeah, that gagged me. Like I, because like Enoch is like a very strong like he's physically strong like he could have carried the like all the missions got them all the money and then they took him out which was a gag pac-man is kind of like flying under the radar and like nobody suspects him as a traitor so like that would have been my option to kill but honestly like killing enoch causes like a lot of like chaos because everyone's like why would they do that that's one thing i noticed with this cast so compare if i'm comparing it to your 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 guys cast and this cast um this one's way more chaotic i find where i think oh i know People are all over. Our the cast place. was, our cast. No offense, Dom was so boring. Like <laughs> I wanted to be, <laughs> I want to be on season two so bad. Like I would have been so much better. Probably would have got kicked off by Dom. Um, yeah, they're it's, they're the the faithfuls are a mess, but they're very entertaining. Oh yeah, I it's mean, wild. I mean, they also probably knew what they were getting into. For me, I didn't know what I was getting into. I only did. Oh it my god, Dom. To win I a little bit of money. I was explaining to Dom the rules, and he was like, oh my god, you're so smart. How do you know all this stuff? And I was like, it was in the handbook they gave us but on the first day. <laughs> oh, you're, like, honestly. Hey, Dom you're kills me, man. I, I have to explain this stuff to Dom, it. too. Dom was on your season, and I have to explain him how the, to him how the game works. And he played it, <laughs> yeah. man. I'm like, Dom, that's not how you play. That's not how the game works. Dom, no, no. The funniest thing like, was after Dom got kicked off, he's like, oh my god, I finally understand how the show works now. Like, I want to go back, and I'm like... Um, I don't know if that's in the cards for you, but I love your enthusiasm. I love Dom with, with my entire soul, man. He's like he's like my boy. I love him, but man, he he's, <laughs> he kills me, man. All right, so uh, let's talk about so so Henoch gets killed. I agree. I think I think um, uh, if I were if I were one of the traders, I would have been looking at Pac-Man. I think Pac-Man was a good choice. Uh, Henoch's a good choice too because, like you said, the chaos. You know, it's just there was a it was a, who was it? it was Henoch uh, at the at the round table the day before or whatever it was. Uh, was in a little bit of a of a you know oh blaming this person or that person I can't remember who it was so there was heat there so getting rid of him kind of puts a scent somewhere else I think the traders are doing a really good job killing who they're killing and then again then the faithfuls are doing you know their own they're they're doing the work for the traders as well so I think the traders are just so shielded just by what their, their gameplay and then what the faithfuls are doing uh, who do you think uh, who do you think is playing the best and who do you think is playing the messiest fierce I think. Netta and Netta and Kira are playing the best game. Like they are so under the radar. Well, I think Kira like a little bit more because she has like all these alliances and like everyone is convinced that she's a faithful. Netta is playing a real good game too. Like I don't understand how nobody is looking at Netta. Like I think they just haven't watched her on Big Brother because like if I was on the season, Netta would have been the first person that I thought would have be a traitor. Especially like she's acting like so calm, which is like so different from how she was on Big Brother. Like it's obvious like she's like trying to be like composed and like not um bring attention to herself. So yeah, she's playing a great game, but they're just like really dumb faithful. Um, the messy is um Melinda. <laughs> no wait, no no sorry, Cedric is the messiest. Okay. Um. Cedric, <laughs> Cedric uh, is a lot. Um, Melinda too, but she's entertaining. But and also Trana, like yeah. Melinda and Trana, that duo just like they kill me. Yeah, it's been. I'm it's obsessed been with really them. Uh, Dom, what do you think of the uh, of the roundtable last one? Who's playing? Who's playing the best in your opinion? Who's playing the messiest in your opinion, Dom? The best is probably the people that are, are pretty much not saying much at all. I mean, I agree with Fierce to an extent from a trader standpoint. But just an overall, like if I was in a, in the faithful realm, then yeah, the people that are pretty much like Lori, the the kindergarten teacher, you uh, don't hear about her too much. I, I feel don't like think it's smart. Lori's probably up, up on the I don't top think it's smart. I don't think it's smart to like not talk a lot because like people are now suspecting Nick because he doesn't talk at all. That makes it look like you have something to hide. Um, I agree yeah. with that. I 100% agree. I I personally feel now again I could be wrong. You guys are the ones. You two are the ones with the experience. I personally feel like the louder ones are usually the ones that are faithful because they're they're genuinely trying <laughs> to figure it out, and the, the traders are always the ones just sitting back and listening. And that's the trick: you just sit mm-hmm. out, mouth, mouth closed, ears open, and let everyone get in each other's way. But that's the same thing too. Like in our season, the quiet game would have worked better than opposed to this season because it's so chaotic. I feel like the people that Fierce is talking about 
is essentially putting him in a position to stick around a lot longer because mm -hmm. it seems like they're utilizing the quiet ones or the people who aren't doing much this season to pretty much kill them off and keep it confused. As opposed to our season, the quiet ones stick around. Well, I actually cracked the code on how to make it to the end of the traders. You have to ride the middle. Like, you have to be loud but not too loud. And you also have to be dumb. Because um, the traders are going to keep around the dumb ones because they're not going to vote them out. So, like, no offense, Gerline and the rest of the crew. Um, they're going to keep around the people who are, like, um, you know not paying attention and like not like putting all the clues together but also like if you're a smart faithful you will keep your like all your like inner thoughts to yourself because you don't know who you can trust mm -hmm. and like you want to keep the traitors around especially if they trust you because they're gonna take you to the end they won't take you out especially if they think you're not gonna vote them out and also like it's not smart to get rid of the traitors right away because they're just gonna recruit more traitors and then it's just like even more confusing. So the smartest thing to do is figure out who the traders are early on, get close to them, and then make it to the end and take them out then. That's what I've been trying to explain to Dom. Exactly that. Uh, exactly you think that. I didn't know that? You think I didn't know this? So we know you didn't no, know No, Dom, this. I don't think you knew uh, that. You didn't know this, Dom, but it's okay. I played, so the, that's I played what, that's the best the, dumb game you guys could ever see. No, Dom, you were not difference when it's a intentionally game. and unintentionally. There's a big <laughs> right. difference. I think I had you guys fooled more than you think. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I think you had yourself fooled that you fooled us. I don't so, know what your interpretation right now. But that's the thing, right? And mm -hmm. I agree. It's it's the worse you are at the game, the farther you get. Because if I'm a trader, I'm not mm -hmm. gonna take you out. Why would I take you out? If you're if you're wrong on all your sense, if, if you're always, you know, pointing the finger, causing the chaos, keeping the confusion going, if I'm a trader, I'm keeping you in. You're you're working for me. Uh, and you're putting the heat on yourself. So I agree. I think the worse you are, the further you get. Uh, usually the detectives or the ones that are trying to actually actively figure it out are the ones that are getting taken out. And like you said, uh, Fierce, mm -hmm. I 100% agree with you. Uh, if you know who the traitor is, why get rid of them? It makes no sense. Use them. Be friends with them. You know, buddy up with them so they don't want to get rid of you. Um, I think it's. I think that's better. And at least you know who it is because again, they're just going to get replaced anyway. So say, say right. if you're a, you're a traitor, fierce, and I and, and 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 Dom and I figure it out, and we vote you out. At least we knew you were a traitor. Now you're gone. Well, what mm -hmm. happens? Someone else comes in, and it could be anybody. It could be Dom. It could be me. Someone I trust. Someone I. You know, it, you don't know, and you got to figure it all out again. So that's that's the big thing with the game, and I, and I agree fully what you just uh, what you just said. There. So that's pretty much the game. Cures plan. Say it again. Sorry. That's pretty much the game Kira's playing. She's at the top of the list right now. I think the thing with Kira, I, I want to give her a lot of credit. The problem with Kira is her brother's in the house, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all because, again... Yeah, but her brother's, like, not really paying attention to anything. But do he's we know just that? There. He just... He just walks in and does backflips every. Yeah, he's not doing anything. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing: what if they're having these conversations that that the show doesn't want to show the viewers? What if they're having mm. these conversations? And the show's going well. Shit, man! Like they obviously are talking to each other because they know they're in the house. One probably knows the other one's a traitor. They're not going against each other, so we can't show this to the audience. We can't show what they're talking about. So maybe it's by design. Maybe he's quiet by design uh, or whatever it is. I just feel like I don't like the advantage they have. That's even even if they don't know any information, that's still one person in that house that you 100% trust no matter what. They're not going to go after each other. Why would they? If if Nick wins, she uh, Kira, Kira said she would kill her brother. Yeah, so we'll I don't see believe if she it, actually does. I, I think you she's gotta just have saying the that. insight on, on what happened there, Fierce. Hmm? You gotta have the insight on, on that one there. How how did they both make it in the house together? Dom, have you watched the show before? No. Like ever? No. There, the, on the UK one, there was a boyfriend and girlfriend who got on together. There's been multiple like people who got on together and knew and knew each other. Um, this is a, this Dom is, is a clearly never watched this show. Did I, did I watch Dom those ones? No. Dom and Zio yeah, you, did you strategized. <laughs> I, I wish I was Dom, Dom, did you even watch our season? Uh, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, yeah. So you, you watched it um, briefly. I was, I, was, I was honestly disappointed. I felt like I got myself. The game didn't get me, to be honest. Well. Yeah, you did get yourself. <laughs> you got yourself kicked off. So <laughs> Trana, Trana and uh, Kirkland fight at the breakfast, right away at the beginning. So uh, Cedric, it was a Cedric fighting Trana and Kirkland are fighting. That was a feud. Kirkland and, and Trana was a was a feud. And and I, again, this is one of those things. They're fighting, and it's a total distraction to what's really going on. And you're focused on that, and this person saying this, and this person saying that, and you're focused on that 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 fight, and whose side is is right or whatever it is. And it's a complete distraction. What do you think of that? What do you think about the fights at breakfast? Because you've actually um, you had a I couple mean, of those. 
I I had fights every single day. Um, I mean, but I get it because like you, like as a faithful. I mean, the reason I was like doing the most of the time was because like if I'm like chaotic like this, like. I'm not going to get murdered because the traders are going to keep me around because there's going to be heat on me. But I had a good enough relationship with everyone that I could like, on the first like four weeks, I didn't get voted out. I didn't get voted once, even though I was so messy. Um, but like, I feel bad for Kirkland because like, d- uh, they keep coming for him. Um, but Trana's reason is kind of dumb because like, they gave each other a nod and she thinks that um, he's a traitor because, or they're both traitors. Like, if they actually were both traitors, they would not even be looking at each other in the same direction. They would like, or even like acknowledge and making any type of acknowledgement that other people would like see and make 100%. make them suspicious. I mean, the game, um, the game, the game's starting now, right? Well, the game. Everybody's getting settled but also, in. I mean, Everybody's like the first few weeks, episode. the first few episodes, it's honestly really hard to even like know who to look for because there's so many people in the cast, and um, you, you have like nothing to go off of. Like you have to like find like little small things, and unfortunately, like. Kirkland stuck out for some reason and everyone just jumped on him. That's the thing. Like I personally felt again, uh, what do I know? I'm sitting at home. I'm watching for my TV. I have all the answers. I obviously know who the traders are. I know the answers. So for me to sit here and say like Kirkland was so obviously a faithful, like Cedric to me is so obviously a faithful that how can they be sussing? I'm like, how do you get it wrong like that in the house? How can it, it like, it's so obvious. Just they're like, I don't know how defensive they are. I, I, I don't know. I just, to me, it's just, you can tell when, I, I don't know, maybe it's me or maybe just because I do know the answer, but it's like, you can tell that person is a faithful just by the way they're like, come on guys, what are you doing? Like just mm-hmm. the way they're defending it's, themselves. How do they get it so wrong all it's the time? All, this all routes to the way that I've discussed it for time. Like as a faithful, you said it yourself, you're playing for yourself. You're not playing for anybody else. So, I mean, when somebody's on the radar and it's not your name, it's so much easier to just throw that person under the bus to yeah. make it past that round table. Like, that's the problem with this game. It happens time and time again because people just want to last closer to the end and they don't care about anybody else because it's a one-man show. And that's, that's kind of what always happens. Like, you know? Like, even our, our, um, like, on our season, we all went for call in the first episode I don't even remember why someone. No, it was Crystal. Yeah, because um, started, uh, Erica already Crystal, won a million dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but Crystal started a rumor that Colin was lying about being a bus driver, and because actually Crystal came up to me the first day and she was like, "Do you think he's really a bus driver? Like, why would that's such a like random job? Like, he looks like he's been to prison. He has all these tattoos." And I was like, "Hmm, I don't know." So then, like that rumor just went around the whole manor. Um, then he, then he made himself look bad at the round table because he was like, oh, Erica, um, won a million dollars. So like, why, like, should she be here? And then everyone turned on him. That was but like, at that point, mistake. or well, whatever, early on in that point in the game, like you have nothing to go on. So you just have to go on like little small things. Okay, but when question. you went down to Thunder Bay, did he take you for a ride on the bus? No, he doesn't work at the, he's not a bus driver anymore. He works, um, I forgot where he said he works with like indigenous people. No, oh, yeah. if, if like, okay, so how yeah. how is it? It's episode one, it's episode two, it's episode three, which means like day one, day two, day three, right? How are these people with their full chest saying it's you? I know it's you. I'm a hundred percent convinced it's you. How do you get there when you have like you're going? Off I mean, it I mean, I did that too. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you get okay, there? No. Like, explain it to me. Like, what so, what is it in this? Wait, in your mind, it just clicks the, in your no, mind. No, no. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. I didn't even tell you this, Dom. The reason I came for Rick so hard, I had this whole, and this is also why I got upset with Kevin. I had this whole secret evil plan because I was convinced that um, Rick was a traitor because he was the only one defending Mel B. He was like, there's no way, um, there's no way she's a traitor, blah, blah, blah. And like everybody else was convinced that it was Mel B. And then I was like, I had my eyes on him. And then Mickey was also being suspicious. Like, he would never talk. And then when um, that day, everybody was talking about Mel B. And then we forced Mickey to say a name, and he said Rick. So then in my mind, I'm like, oh, my God, what if Rick and Mickey are both traitors and they're throwing each other under the bus right now because um, cause they want to, like, save themselves? And also, Mickey voted for Rick, I think, at one of the roundtables. Yeah, he, or, I don't know. he did. So... So then, in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, they're both traitors. So I went to Kevin, and I was like, Kevin, I have this evil plan. If you got recruited as a traitor, would you do it? And he was like, maybe. And I was like, I think I know who the traitors are. It's Rick and Mickey. 
let's get Rick banished. Then I'm going to force Mickey to recruit me. Then we're going to banish Mickey and I'm going to recruit you as a trader and then we'll run the manor. And yeah, I had all these like little clues that I thought were happening. I was so convinced it was Rick. I turned the whole house so against wrong. him. So no, but wrong. also, when we, the, the only reason I even came for Rick was because we voted Mel B out and she actually was a traitor. So that in my mind, I was like, oh my God, he's a traitor. Like he was the only one defending her. Yeah, so, but here, yeah, it was wrong. <laughs> you got you got me going because you're like, oh, Rick's going around telling people you're a traitor because you're smoking more. No, he did. He did say that. So and my that's question what I, to you is, that's how what do I you guys... Rick in a line? I said, okay, Rick's gotta go. So here's the no, thing. he did how say that. You... But then you voted me out. <laughs> how do you guys lock in so hard off of like just because you said, oh, you're thinking this, no. this, and this? Is there not There's a no better time. way to get to the answer instead cool. of just being like, this is it? Like, Things happen way too quickly. Yeah, it happens really quick, but also, like, we were right sometimes. Like, we got Mel B out. Like, we saw her acting weird, and we voted her out, and we were right. That one, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I, I felt bad because I, I called that preseason when we did the cast breakdown. I was like, oh, yeah, Mel B is a dud, you know? And I felt horrible because she was watching the, <laughs> the so cast mean. breakdown. She was watching the cast breakdown with me live when I was doing it. So, I felt horrible. But anyway. Oh, my God. Really <laughs> it. So, but anyway. So, okay. So, let's get to, to this, though. So, um, the, the, here's the thing. Here's one of my biggest things right now. The Faithfuls have so much distrust with each other right now. How, how are they ever going to come back, reel it back in, and say, guys, let's reset. Like, just chill for a second. Guys, we're all over the place. I think it's you. You think it's him. She thinks it's her. She thinks it's me. Everyone's everyone's aiming everywhere but the traders. How do they get back to say, guys? Everyone, we need to chill. Let's just reset. Let's see what's going on. Let's move forward. They honestly just need to like calm down and like sit down. Yeah, I don't think they will either. But they need to just like sit down and be like, we need to look at the quiet ones Mm because nobody's looking at these people. But I don't think they will because everyone like hates each other on this cast apparently. That's what it looks like to me too. Like. Eventually, after a couple of days, you build your little groups and then you stick within those groups. And it never really comes to that, like I said, that big group where you can confront and make things happen before the round table. So I don't think it's going to happen. I honestly, I'm with Fierce on this one. It's not going to happen. I don't and, see uh, it happening either. Now, the one thing I will say here, I feel like, and, and, and Fierce, you've brought this up a few times. The quiet ones is who you got to watch out for. And I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree. And that's my biggest thing with Netta right now is I think she's too quiet. I think she's doing a really good job. I think she's mm-hmm. in a good position. I feel like eventually someone's just going to be like, why is nobody talking about Netta? Like, this is right. Netta from Big Brother. She's one of the best players to ever play. She's fantastic. I, I think they, I don't think they've like watched Big, a lot of them have watched Big Brother because like nobody is suspecting Netta. That's crazy so, to me. Well, not only that, she's like I know that little Cedric, girl too. Right? I know like, Cedric knows who she is. That's uh, Tashawn's dad the, from Big Brother. So he knows, he definitely knows who Netta is. Um, I know uh, Kirkland knew who Netta was. So it's like, how is that? And which I, I, I'm a big Netta fan myself. I love Netta. So for me. Then why'd you butt her out? Hey, man, you got to go and you got to go. It's, it's <laughs> the way it is. It's not like Dom is all about oh. making friends, I'm about winning the show. So it's like, that's the way it goes. <laughs> you know? But then again, but then again, to the people, it's like, oh, if it is them, it's way too obvious. So then, like, the game gets you so psychologically fucked. I mean, like, well, it is obvious, really but also, but so I think awesome. the way she's acting, too, is making it even more obvious that she's a traitor because she's being so quiet. And, like, that's not the Netta who, like, you know from, like, Big Brother. Like, Netta was always, like, playing the game hard. And now it's obvious that she's trying to, like, slide under the radar. She's, like, not really, like, saying names or, like, causing too much drama. She's very, like, apologetic all the time. Right. Like even when she voted out um Kirk or whoever she voted for tonight, she was like apologizing to them. Uh Cedric. And she's very smart about it. See, so you, guys, she's great. you guys know her in and out, right? So it's easier to make a comment. For me, I just going into it like off the off the rip when we first got there, I legit they threw threw you, Kevin, and uh Kuzi on the boat, the big uh reality people. I thought for sure they were going with you guys as the traders, which Kuzi ended up being one. Did you guys and I was rattled? Did you I was see rattled them come off because the boat? Yeah, when well, um, they came off the boat, we pulled up. They were off the boat. So you guys get there in like a cab and they come out of a freaking yacht? Yeah, oh yeah. We came in a neat song. Uh, <laughs> Wait, we also oh, yeah, you're the, nobody. The ones the ones in the ho- the ones on the boat also like stayed in like a nicer hotel too. And we <laughs> oh, got yeah, like the did. best yeah we got like the best breakfast that morning. Shit. I made them. Re- I made them like half an hour late, and they got really mad at me because I was getting ready. I got dropped off in the in the hotel uh, parking lot, and the guy just took off. And I go, "Where do I go? The doors are locked." He throws Dom up. I go, the the, I go in through the front. They're like, "Oh, hi, how you doing? Uh, you want to sign these waiver forms?" And I was just like, "What? They don't tell you guys that I'm here outside? I thought I was in the middle of nowhere." Like, 
I had a lovely hotel with a view of the lake. It was gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, they took care of you. Bro, I love it. You got two complete. Well, it wasn't trip. like all the like no, because Erica and like I think Rick weren't on the boat either. I don't know. I don't know how they picked. No, Erica was Erica and Rick were with us, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh okay, now I want to talk about this competition. We had Cedric there and uh, Nick. They won the it was like a competition where they had to like explain what was in a box or something like that. I thought the competition was great. I think Nick was absolutely brutal, brutal at this. He's getting all these details, seven inches, five inches, uh whatever, knobs and numbers. No, and I thought I thought Cedric was worse. Like Cedric was so bad. I felt like he actually had he actually had something in that box, and he couldn't describe a fucking blowfish. I don't think he knew what a blowfish was. I thought was. he described it great. But I, I, you could have said, like, it's, it's a fish with, like, spikes on it, and, like, I don't know. You could have described I, it with I, more I, detail. I, I, I agree. knew right away what it was. Like, I, he did not I, even I knew try. it was a puffer fish, too. When we were watching, I was like, that's a puffer fish. But if he, I feel like he genuinely didn't know what the hell it was, you know? I, I, I think he tried. He just didn't know, you know? And... and who I was, get it, but like we're here like the one more than they like their fish. That's why. Like, Nick, um, Nick. Sh oh wait, also wait. The funniest part of that part was Melinda saying that um lobsters have tentacles. She was like, it has ten tentacles, and I, was I like, heard that. A, yeah, a, a, was it a squid? And then they opened it with a lobster, and I was like, oh. Um, but um, no, Kira was very smart about it because like she looked at the box once, then looked straight forward at everyone, and everyone, like, immediately knew she was, like, making things up. Yep. So, uh, Nick should have gone with that strategy, too. Yeah. And apparently, they, they, yeah, they didn't say in the rules that you can't, like, make it obvious that you're not, that you don't have, right. that you don't, like, know what's in the box. Yeah, I agree. Kira, yeah. Kira had the best strategy for it. Uh, again, made things up. She's just adding details, not even looking at the object, which clearly lets her lets everybody like she understood. Like somebody even said it, she understood the assignment. Like she's looking right at everybody, just making shit up as as she goes, and uh, and they they're like, yeah, she's obviously making this up. She's not even looking at the object, kind of thing. So I, I think Kira did a great job. Uh, Cedric, I I genuinely believe Cedric just didn't know. Uh, so I, just sucked. I don't it. I don't think he knew either, but he was so bad at it. Yeah, horrible. And then, uh, but I'm a listen. I love Cedric. I love that kind of chaos because I don't think he's trying to be chaotic. I think he just talks too much. I don't think he realizes it. I think he just he's just. He's just, I don't know, he's, but again, he's always on defense because everyone keeps pointing at him. So it's hard when you're, you're in there and everyone's just trying to, it's you, it's you, it's you. Like, I couldn't imagine what it's like when you're like, man, I'm a fuck, I'm an, I'm obviously a faithful and you guys keep putting me in the hot seat. Like, what's going on here? So I, I feel like he's been put in this situation to play the way he is. Uh, or maybe he's like that in real life. I don't know. I've never met or talked to Cedric, but I love, I love him, man. I really, 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 really like Cedric. Uh, and I, obviously, I was fan, there. he so. would have been my boy for sure. Bruno well, also loves Kevin Martin, so I don't trust him on being a good judge of character. You know what this? Do you, you this love this? Kevin Martin? Oh my God, are, you wearing, are you wearing Kevin Martin merch? I am. I, I'm I, not gonna lie. I, I actually I wore it. I actually I wore it on go, purpose tonight. Go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was like, that. That looks so familiar. Like, is that yeah. um, uh, the craft, the craft mart? Uh, what does that stand for? <laughs> it mart. Like, oh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was wearing a different them. shirt, and right before I came down, I'm like, I gotta go put this Kevin Martin shirt on. I know you guys are <laughs> Kevin Martin fans, and I wanted to, you know, show that we're all, you know, we're all Kevin Martin fans. Seriously, did you know Kevin before the show? You met him at the show. Me? Yeah. I knew of him from watching Big Brother. I oh. didn't know him like personally. You guys seem super tight right off the hop. What? Super no, because what? So when I um when I went into the band, it was me, Koozie, girl. Yeah, we were all. I don't know. They put us all together. That was weird. It was me, Koozie, Girlene, and Kevin and Gerpy are in the band. And Kevin was the only one I recognized. And I looked at him and I was like, "You're trouble." And he got so scared of me immediately. But I knew Kevin was like a really like strong player, so I went up to him, like he was the first person I went to, and I was like, "Let's have an alliance." I think Kev's a great player. Like, so I actually, you know, speaking of Kev, I played with him. Great player, twice. horrible person. I played with him twice. We played on season three together. I I'm couldn't so stand sorry him. you had to deal with that. Couldn't stand him on season three. Like, we did not talk. I've, I've said more words to you both here tonight than I talked to Kevin an entire season on season three. And then season five, he's my boy. And I love the guy. He's my, he's my brother, man. I love him. So, uh, all right. So we got, uh, here's the thing. So the, the prize for this, this comp was uh, a, a weapon, right? So you can either pick a dagger for two votes or the shield. What do you do in this situation? What are you both picking? I'm going to start with That Pierce. was a terrible twist. I'm sorry. Like, that was useless. Okay, I guess we're starting with Dom. Um, Dom. I guess we're starting with Dom. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's okay, Dom. Like, go ahead. Like, who in the right mind would have went for the two votes? Like, well, I think, like, it depends, like, on when 
I, I don't know if they'll bring this twist back like later on in the season. If it was like later on and there was less people in the cast, like that would have been a useful twist because if there's like less competitors, your vote is more powerful. Um, I don't know. I think maybe they'll bring it back. Hopefully they do because I think it was a good twist. I liked it. Just used I, agree. I liked it. Here's what I'm thinking. If you're, say, Kirkland and you're in there, I bet you you're picking the vote. I, be- I bet you you're picking mm-hmm. the two votes. And what I think they should have done, I don't know the rules if they were allowed to talk or whatever. If they both went with two votes, that's four votes right there. They basically could single hand, well, not single hand, but the two of them could control who goes home. That's four votes locked in, mm-hmm. just the two of them. Okay. So you have the two. Especially of them if, like, if everyone, well, if they knew what the. the, the I don't the, think, the, I don't think right. that's the play, though, because they're if all. If, wait, if all five of them threw the comp, that would be 10 votes. So they could, like, take out whoever they wanted. Yeah, yeah, but then it, it creates suspicion as to why they're throwing it. Like, no, I get it. I take get her it. Rid of there's, two <laughs> sides, there's two sides to the story here, and I don't think, I don't think realistically, at the end of the day, that they did the right thing for them because they're they're showing that they're considered a faithful because they want to hide behind the shield and not be this aggressive person at the round table and take a shot with four votes. Yeah, but I think traitor, it was useless. But I agree it, with Pierce at the end, it would have made a big, big difference for sure if there's only if five I'm people a left. Traitor, I'm getting the shield too. Why would I not get the shield? Oh, 100 percent Okay. Yeah, so you're saying they're did. proving their faith over getting a shield. Well, if I'm a traitor, I'm gonna get a shield too. That way I say, hey, listen, I'm scared to die at night too. Full well knowing I can't get killed. I'm still grabbing that's, a shield. That's that's also still, no, I'm still to figuring prove out the game. You're faithful. So, so it's I, protecting your game regardless, no matter who it is. So for me, I feel like if I'm Kirkland, I'm going for the daggers because I know I'm in the hot seat. I know I'm about to get voted out. I'm not even gonna make it to the morning. So why am I worried about a stupid shield that I'm not even I'm gonna leave the house with it? I'd rather get the daggers. And honestly, get a like, of votes. I, feel like, I think it, how many votes did he lose by today? Was it like one or one. two? One vote. Yeah, it would have helped him. Yep. One vote. So that's what I'm saying. Well, he didn't volunteer to go up. If you're on the, the <laughs> chopping block to go home and you might not even see the morning, why do you need the shield? What, who cares? Like you're, you're, you're fighting for this battle first. You're not fighting for the battle tomorrow. You're fighting for the battle today because you might even be there tomorrow. So I would get the daggers. You get that extra vote. Like you say, it flips it over. Boom, that's just enough to get you ahead. And you're safe another day. I, I don't know. I, I, I like the twist. I really do. And I hope they bring it back later in the season. It'd be huge. Imagine there's only four votes going. And you have two of them. Like, that's massive. That's absolutely massive. But, but then again, who did Kirkland vote for? Uh, I don't Cedric? Know. Maybe Cedric. I don't know. Uh, Melinda. He voted, he voted for Melinda. Yeah, that's so right. it wouldn't have done anything anyway. Okay, but... It, it, well, I think... It, no, be, like, well, it's he voted for Melinda because... Take. He voted for Melinda because... Um, he... Well, I think he actually thought he was she was a traitor. And also, he, he kind of knew he was going home based on how the round table was going. And he wanted to like seal her fate by voting for her, so people would like go for her next. But you know, you know but, as best as I do. If your name's like the hot, hot commodity. But Cedric, there, Cedric's name was also, name. Cedric's name was also like one of the, um, the names going around that people wanted, and like a lot of people voted for him too. Um, if he had double votes, he could have voted for Cedric and gotten him out of ten. But he doesn't know what everybody's vote is until they all cast their votes. So. I don't know. I, I don't think it was useful at this point in the game, to be it's honest. It's still a little early, but I still think it's useful. If you're if you're on the chopping block to get voted out, because here's the thing. If you're, I mean, I, I guess you can look at it both. It's, it's always easy to look at it both ways. If you're almost getting voted out every week, the traders could just vote you out, and then obviously it puts the heat on the other people that were voting you out, right? Or you just say, hey, this person is, is going to be voted out tomorrow. Why are we going to waste a kill on them? Let's go kill someone else that's, that has no heat on them and let these two keep battling it out and voting each other out. So there's always two ways to look at it. And, and you know, there's pros and cons, I guess, to both. But I, I don't know. Personally, I think if I'm on the chopping block, I'm going to get the dagger. I'm going to try to just get that extra vote to vote my way. Um, if, if it works, it works. If it was wasted, it's wasted. But at least I'm giving myself a better chance to get uh, to be alive, to possibly get murdered. Uh, the next day. Now, if you if say both, I want to hear. I want to ask for both you guys here. So, if you had um, uh, the power, okay, you had this uh, this uh, whatever the, the 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 secret power or whatever, and um, you come back and they ask you, what could you get? What what did you get? What are you gonna say, uh, fierce? What are you gonna say uh, to them? You are you telling the truth? I would have like lied. Um, I don't know what I would have said. I'd have to think about it, but I would have lied to make it think that. To like make the traitors nervous and also like not have them murder me or banish me. I don't know. I would have come up with something creative. Yeah. No, if I- it was me, if it was me, I was taking the shield and I was telling them that I got some next level weapon that I, I get one shot at a traitor tonight and uh, like put some, you know, 
juices through those pants of theirs, but I would have had the shield. So knowing that they would have made it through the morning, if they would have took a shot at me, then they would have been screwed, right? So you say you have one shot at a traitor. And then when yeah, you go to a shot at a traitor, up, they're like, well, what was I your shot, up some bullshit. I would have made up some bullshit <laughs> that I got, like, yeah. a weapon in which tonight I get a shot at a traitor. Okay. And after the, the round comes table. And the traitors are still standing. Or honestly, say, Where's you, the know shot, what? you know what? You know what would have been really smart? Just, like, not telling anyone what the power was and then saying that you have it and then it keeps everyone like nervous and guessing yeah i agree and yeah, i think that's... i think the faithful 100 percent. i to me i'd be like why are you even bringing this up the faithfuls are giving the traders the edge by making it openly known what everybody what power you have yeah the well, fact that they're the like, traders, like here but from here a was very nervous point, they're trying to see okay how honest are you with us to prove that you're faithful, like it goes two ways. That that's what makes it so. Who cares about the faithful? Kira, it made Kira very nervous, and um, I don't know. Maybe she would have cracked a little bit if she, um she was just like nervous the whole day that the secret power um might like I don't know expose her or something. They didn't u- utilize it to the best of the ability. I know what Cedric was doing there. He was pretty much saying like, "This is what I got. I got nothing to hide. I've been playing the way I have been. You guys should know I'm a faithful at this point." He played it the way he needed to based on the way it's been going since episode one. But yeah, they should have used it to the point where they could, you know, put some shit in their pants and make them scared at nighttime. They go to the conclave and they don't know what's going on. I think the faithful's fucked up there because they're literally, they have this, this weapon, this power. It could be nothing. It could be huge. But they're all saying, well, what do you have? And, And now they have to openly tell everybody what they have. And instead of being like, listen, just chill. Don't worry about it. You know, you're good. We're all good. Whatever. Whatever they got to tell them. I don't know what the answer is. But it's like, or you know what, you know what would have been funny? Like, I would have been like, I would have been like, I'm not gonna say what what it was, but the traitors should be very nervous. And then you walk around the whole day and see who's like acting like, you know, erratic. Yeah, I mean, there's so many other places. There's so many places. Hmm? Thoughts on uh, you would do. Thoughts on China, (laughs) Miss Fierce. What are your thoughts on 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 China here? (laughs) I mean, I don't think she's the best faithful. Like, she. I don't know. She just like goes after people really hard, but I think I find it entertaining. I feel bad for the people she's going for. I would hate to be on the receiving end of that. Mm-hmm. But um, from a TV standpoint, I think it's entertaining. Hundred, a hundred on that as well. Uh, entertainment value through the roof. Like this is what you watch for. You don't want everyone just to sit there and have make friends and and you know just get yeah, along. like on season one. Yeah, Dom, way to go, fuck. But <laughs> but then but then again, like. The round table was super short, meaning not too many people wanted to speak up. So, well, honestly, yeah, but that wasn't her fault. That was like, because the no, previous that round table. No, that wasn't her fault. I'm just saying this round table from the last episode was a lot quieter. And it's like almost people are thinking to themselves, I better keep my mouth shut tonight. And they're not really getting no content. That was the shortest round table I've seen. I don't even think, you know, how long the round tables are with the music and everything. I don't think anything or much at all was even said at that round table. And production was probably mm-hmm. pissed. You the remember, you remember when David used to come in. Here's the mm-hmm. thing: as as a player, I love players like Dom because they're calm, they're quiet, they're boring. Because <sighs> you can keep your eyes focused. I'm not the, fucking boring. You're but... boring, Dom. Like it's okay, okay. Okay, maybe in maybe in maybe in this game I was boring. Sure, it's, yeah, it's fine. It's okay. All right. Okay, but but as a viewer, I love the players like Trana. I love that because I'm entertained. But as a player, I don't want the chaos. I don't want these grenades being thrown everywhere where it's like, fuck, there's another fire over there we got to take out. And there's another fire over there we got to take out. I want everything calm, boring, Dom, so I can, okay, we're good. I have to fo- I can focus over here, you know? So, uh, but yeah, no, I, I like, I respect uh, Trana, the game she's playing. I, I respect it. I like it, it like as a viewer. Uh, but as a player, it's like you know what? When I'm there, if I'm if I'm in a house like that or you know whatever show it is, and there's a player like trying to just like causing chaos and confusion, and and especially in a game like Traders where it's like you're gonna get it wrong regardless. You vote people out, yeah. you're gonna and get it wrong. Honestly, just, like pe- people like out. came for me too, um, because I was like coming for like Rick so hard and blah, blah blah. But like I'm playing the game, like everyone else is just sitting around like being best friends. And not doing anything like you th- we're all here to play a game, so hmm. I don't know, go, go crazy. <laughs> no, fierce, you were awesome. you get one shot at this. <laughs> amazing. Like, so crazy. that's 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 literally, you know, you, Kevin, and and a bunch of the others. You knew what you were getting into, and you knew you were there to play the game. Me, I wasn't concerned about playing the game. I was concerned about just making it to the end and taking my one shot that I was gonna have. That was it. 
Who was and who was your one shot uh, dog? Well, I, was, I didn't get there, so I couldn't tell you. But That's at the, the time, when but, I did, by, by did, the time by the time you were like kicked off, who was your under your radar at that Uzi. point? No, she wasn't. Thank you. Yes, she was. You. Fierce. No, she. Thank you. Yes, she was. Dom is convinced no, you know, he knew the, who the traders you know, were the, before you know, he was even on the compound. They gave us. I brought it home. Her name's on the paper. If I could find it, I show oh, you. Oh, yes. magically you can't yeah, find it. Yeah, they gave. Find... They gave us the. Pa- they gave us the papers when we got voted off the show. They said the trader is. <laughs> no, uh, Kuzi or whatever, no, etc. Papers with the rules. Dom, it's okay. Oh, yeah. you wrote her name. You knew all yes. the traders. Okay. Mm. So, uh, yeah, you knew all the traitors. I didn't you know, also know thought I was a traitor. traitor. I'm not going to explain this. You thought I was a traitor. You thought we were all traitors. I thought you were a traitor right off the hop when they told me we couldn't wear shorts and you got to wear yours. Here's the thing. Okay. What shorts? Wait, what? Because, because fiercely. <laughs> Wait, like, I got to. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. That makes sense. I got away with I got away with a lot of things. Um, oh yeah, you did. Cl- clothing wise, because they gave us like a book. No, they gave us like this like spreadsheet um, with like what to wear, and it was all like brown and like neutral colors for the fall. And I was wearing the gayest shit ever. Um, and then like they wouldn't say anything to me about it. But then Kevin came in one day wearing um, a cowboy hat, and they made him take it off. And they said it was too much. <laughs> Yeah, like right off the hop, I get out of the Nissan van. I read the rules. You you can wear this, that. You can't wear shorts. And Fierce is there rocking the shorts. And I go, I can't wear shorts. That wasn't, that wasn't wearing, that was a shorts. That was a dress. I it was a dress my that ass, was exposing everything. My ass was out. Yeah, was my shorts. ass was out. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, right, they didn't away, my go, right away. Wait, I go, so you thought it was. They you thought I was a traitor before in? the game even started. Oh, yeah. I go, they brought this character in. One one day is one character, and then the next day is the angel. You went from, like, the devil to the angel the next day in the costume outfit. When did I, when and did I, I go, go oh, yeah, to angel? Trait. What? <laughs> How did I ever stand, play an angel though. role? <laughs> I'm a fierce stand. That's it. Straight up. That's it. Uh, Dom, you kill me, man. You kill me. You kill me. You kill me. You kill me. <laughs> Dom thought I was a traitor because I wore an outfit. Okay. So to Before me, the game even started. <laughs> every time I talk to people from the traders, every time I talk to them, they always say, oh, I, I thought it was this person, I was that person. But what they don't tell you is they thought it was everybody at one point. So, you know, eventually you're going to say, mm-hmm. oh, I think it's Dom, or I think it's Fierce, or I think it's Kevin, or I think it's Gurleen, or I think it's Kuzi. I mean, I think it's Mike. You're the gonna- first day... You're going to name them all the once. Has, you're going to hit it once, right? Actually, no. Mike was never on my radar. Like, I, looking back on it, I was like, I think, I guess he's just, like, socially awkward and doesn't, like, talk to anyone. But he was not on my radar at all. Kevin, the first th- traders I thought were Kevin and Erica. And I became, like, best friends with them because I was like, oh, one yeah, of them is going to have to be a trader. But then Erica got murdered. So then I was like, maybe it's Kevin. But then Kevin got Mel B out. Like, he came for her so hard. So I was like, Kevin is a faithful. So that's actually. So they were my oh, right off. Right off the rip for me, I thought it was you, Erica, and Kevin because you guys were so tight. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't try to be our best friend. You separated us from the group. Way to go, the traders are in that room. I only did that on episode, side. Way to go, Dom. On episode two. Dom yeah, you did on episode fear, two. Dom said, "You, you, and you come with me." No, not you, and not you. Way to go, <laughs> Dom. Know, Social one hundred and one. <laughs> Wait, the funniest part, I think, like, I forgot who tried to, I think it was Leroy tried to, was it Leroy? Somebody tried to walk out and you sent them back in the house. No, that <laughs> was like, you, you that was you, no, it wasn't me, me. And Mike. No, it wasn't me. I was already in the couch. I didn't even try. No, you were. I you were outside, outside too. I need an, auto- I I need an autobiography on Dom for sure. I need, I need one. <laughs> I need one. I need one. That that was someone tried question. to walk Listen, You guys didn't <laughs> understand. That was a great gameplay. I pulled Kuzi right out of that. This guy. You, oh by God. telling people they can't join you, that's great gameplay? No, what I told them was, is listen, it's going to stir the pot. The traders no. want to know what's going on. Pay attention. You're doing to too much. Just relax. <laughs> everyone, no need. everyone, every single person in that group is like, what no, is Dom doing? Yes, it was only did. you, Kuzi, and Mike. <laughs> I remember. Everyone did that. No, 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 no. It was everyone. You killed me. All of us were talking everyone. about no, all, Dom, all of us were inside, like, laughing at you. Well, we're not laugh. You know what? They, they should release the unedited stuff so we can see it. I love Dom. Mm-hmm. It just, it's, it's just, it's great. It's great stuff. So, um, okay, so who do you guys think is playing? So you said you think, uh, who did you say was playing the best game? Uh, you said. Lauren, Nina, for Kim. me. Lori or Lauren? Lori? Oh, my God. From a, from a faithful <laughs> standpoint. Dom says the most random name. Um, Lori's gonna get murdered. A breath no- of fresh air. I love you. I love you. 
I tell this all the time, but I'm I mean planted everywhere. There's a breath of fresh air everywhere when you go outside. It's Canada. It's cold I, out. Breath of fresh air. I guarantee you, Lori is gonna get murdered really soon because she's too much. She's seen too much as a faithful, and nobody's suspecting her as a traitor. You need heat on you. You need to stand out of it, or so. you're gonna get murdered. We'll see. We'll you also see. didn't think you were. Gonna, you also thought you were gonna win. So, I, I, hey, I had a good shot going to the end if I didn't kick myself off. Do you think you were going to the end because you were a good player, or do you think you were going to the end because they were going to keep you there? No, I played. I played the best dumb game you could. Was it on purpose? I don't think. <laughs> yeah, it was on purpose. Okay. Right. So, are you still playing the game right now? No, right now we're chilling, hanging out, having a social time, getting together, getting some breath of fresh air. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I fucking love him. I love him, man. I can't. I can't help it. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, anything you guys want to say? Anything uh, you got? You guys want to say? Like anything I didn't talk about? What do you want to say? Whoa, 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 whoa! Talk about yeah. Okay, Who, no. Who's going home? Who's going home? Who got the handshake? Is it Dylan or is it Fuck, the, the I little the hand handshake? Wait, we skipped over the whole roundtable. Oh my oh, yeah. god! Let's talk about the roundtable. I mean, there wasn't much to talk about. Okay, next, <laughs> like Who's, it was, it was a very- I, think, <laughs> I think, in my personal opinion, Netta should have kept her mouth shut. The fact that she Why? made it look like she wrote a name and another name and another name, and then pointed no, to I think, Cedric, considering I think she very smart. Cedric had the shield. Obviously, she wants him out. Like, she, no, but I think I think it was a smart move of her because, based on that roundtable, it's kind of obvious that. Um, people were going to vote for Kirkland and get him voted out. And Netta didn't vote for the obvious person. So she's kind of like making herself look confused. I think Michael, the traitor was like, like going too hard on like to Kirkland and being like, you're, you're obviously like his, his whole like demeanor just like changed. And he was like, you're obviously a uh, faithful, sorry, a traitor. And like, he obviously knows Kirkland is not a traitor, but Netta like played a chill. Um, Yeah. I think she's playing a great game. She's playing a good game, but I think that was a mistake. Uh, Mike, what's his name? Think, Michael John? Is that his I name? I also think you getting yourself kicked up was a mistake. Can we, should we talk or maybe, about how you got... Or maybe you should have wore pants on episode one, and then I wouldn't have thought you're a traitor. We could have got along quicker. <laughs> um, I don't think we're ever going to get along, Tom. <laughs> Make sure wearing pants next time. Um, we know a lot of the same people now. You know this. You should have got along a lot better. So, Dom, you were literally from the first, or the first or second day, you were sitting at the table grilling me, not even paying attention to the whole round table. The entire time, you were just staring at me, and I was like, "Is there something on my face or something? Like, why is Dom so obsessed with me?" You probably felt so uncomfortable too. I was so <laughs> uncomfortable. I was like, "I no," because like they play this song at the beginning. It's um the Hank from the from the Hunger Games, like that Hanging Tree song, for like three minutes. The entire three minutes, Dom is just like you're supposed to like look around and like whatever so they can get shots of you. Dom is just staring at me like this with his hands like like the godfather. He's just staring at me. Dom, good social game. Oh yeah, I'm that guy. Don't fuck around. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. I wasn't even talking to you. I don't know why. You know what? Like, I, know what? I, gotta give, I gotta give you credit. You were just trying to play I, the game. Hands. You were trying to play the game and right off the rip, when, you know when you went down to the lobby to get in the cars to go to the set or whatever, me and Rick connected right off the hop because he's these like best friends You're Italian. My cousins. no one of my cousins and him are best friends and we started talking or whatever and i said listen we got to stick together unfortunately rick he liked he was just wanted to speak up voice his opinion there was times where i would tell him keep quiet and he didn't and eventually the little smoking thing i go okay listen i gotta take it for what it is maybe it's not legit whatever i already told it was, le- it was legit hold on, other, people hold on. Com- other people confirmed it he said i made that up and then voted me out no no hold on so then i said okay i gotta do a little bit of investigation to make this sure this is true instead of just taking fears for what it is so when i went outside i'm smoking and trevon comes by and he goes oh dom how many smokes you had today he says who the fuck are you to ask me how many smokes i had today <laughs> I said, nobody in my life has ever asked me how many smokes I had. So then I said, okay, maybe Fierce is right. So then I went I inside. Was, uh... I went and sat in the courtyard with, with Rick and Travon. And I think uh, someone else was there. And I, I let it play out. I kept my mouth shut until Travon opened his mouth and goes, yeah, Rick, you're going around. I said, Rick, really? Second time now? I already told you the first time not to do that. Now this is the second time? Uh, Dom- so then at that point in time, that's why I, I voted out Rick. Because... Through my little investigation, 
It did was true with what you said. But then the next day, the next day, you voted me out because I turned you against your Italian. Because I figured, I figured by, by telling like, you by telling you the truth, I turned I you at against that him. Point in time, you wanted Rick pushed out to help better your yeah. game as a trader. I did. No, uh, no, no. We gotta have. <laughs> you know what we should do? We gotta we gotta have you both on together all the time. I I don't. This is amazing. <laughs> Dom, the guy asked you how many smokes you have, and you're we like, who the fuck are you? Oh, yeah, buddy. Dude, ask me how many Maybe he's wanted to talk me, to you. Maybe say, hey, how you doing fuck. today? You're smoking a lot. Fuck, man. You're I also, I like, Dom, were you there when I yelled at Donna? They cut this out of the episode, but it was so funny. Donna, I wasn't, like, I wasn't there, but what happened on, what they aired on the episode, I just came back from going to the bathroom, and you guys had this little thing going on, and I was just like, "Oh no, no, wait. you know, no, wait, wait." Okay, so Donna pissed me off that day because she was like, she came up to me. Well, I was really in a bad mood because of other things. Like everyone was pissing me off. Um, Donna comes up to me and she's like, "Fierce, everyone's had their turn in the hot seat, and now it's your turn." And I was like, "Donna, shut the fuck!" I literally like cussed her out and then stormed off. And then she <laughs> she <laughs> she came she came up to me trying to apologize. I would not speak to her. I just like stormed off again. We need Fierce back on season three. They gotta do a callback. <laughs> Dom and Fierce. I'm not getting called back. We all okay, know this. We know. Fierce okay, so tight. Fierce. Fierce is tight with them, and Fierce wanted to make jokes about me on the Instagram thing when when I got kicked what? off. They, they said no. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When on my um um when I did the the social correspondence, they wouldn't let me mention Dom ever. Yeah. Well. He was like Bob the Mark, he who shall not be named. Mm-hmm. What's, what happens when you get kicked off, man? You got to follow the rules, Dom. Yeah, Dom. They knew the rules are there listen, for a reason. It wasn't like I intended to do it or this mm-hmm. and that. It kind of just happened. And- Dom, I don't, even, I don't even know how your mind works that you were able to even come up with the idea that you did. Like, literally, no one on earth except for you would come up with that plan. Genius. That's, it boggles, there's, there's it boggles shit my mind. Here. No, but listen, I think, if Kevin didn't do what he did, I would have minded my own business. But when what he, did Kevin I'm a, do? I'm a, the problem is, is I'm a 120% loyal person. If you respect me, I respect you back. And at that point in time in the game, I figured everybody knew I was a faithful. I minded my own so business. So why did you have to prove, why did you have to prove it even more? Because when he said you're not 99%, not 100%, I said fucking bullshit. I'm fucking oh, 100%. I was, if you don't know by now, I was in there. Oh. So I was, <laughs> Dom got mad. See, Dom, you were, Dom was, wait, wait, Dom, you also voted out who, you were a very emotional player because you voted, I forgot who you voted out. I think oh, it was he, like, uh, see, that's you vote, no, when you, no, you voted out. You voted for Chris. You voted for Crystal. What was the reason you voted for Crystal again? So that's it was the a dumbest thing. What you guys didn't understand about my gameplay. I tell you, I played the dumbest. I don't game think you understood your gameplay of. either. Wait, I what was your? What found was your... a reason to make my vote towards somebody so no one would even realize what I was doing. Like that's the thing about what was aired and what you guys think is I was so much See, smarter than you thought. As soon as Crystal cut me off. I go, that's the reason why I'm oh, voting right, for right, right. <laughs> Dom voted Dom voted for Chris on one of the round tables because she cut him off when he was trying to talk. See, I had my hand raised like I was in class, like it was my turn to talk. And she's like, it's not Wait, your Dom. turn to talk. Oh my God. So that, then when I went that to round table, vote, that round table was so vote, funny. Said, I'm sorry, but when you cut me off, I don't appreciate that. Crystal, you get my vote. But I always <laughs> utilize these things to show people why I was voting because I never wanted to vote in a direction that was going to make it seem like I knew what was going on. I'm telling you, you guys have no idea. I played stupid mm-hmm. on purpose. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Dom was the evil mastermind behind what if, the whole game. What if Dom was so good that he literally fooled everybody? I'm no, telling what you, I'm not you, what if he fooled you guys all thought. the viewers? Maybe that's what Dom happened. Maybe you're himself. so good that every viewer is just confused. And... And you think that I, I got myself voted off because of what I said at the breakfast. No, it was because I'm... when they when they brought me to the confessional, I came clean with what was going on, but they had no idea. Yeah, you got yourself kicked off. Yeah, because the problem was is I didn't know I didn't know what they knew at that point because it happened so quickly I couldn't even think about well, I what think they heard happened. they heard pieces of it they heard pieces of it when you brought it up at breakfast in front of everyone no, on camera he, and he, you don't even know it comes out Dom. 
I was told that you brought it up at breakfast on camera by someone That's who heard wrong. you bring it up. Um, That's wrong. So, no, okay. um, that was, you know what, that was very informal, uh, Dom. Good, good, you know, and I, I didn't realize how good your game was. And I'm glad you told us. That's very good. <laughs> it's not, it's not, you're going to interpret it the way that you want. You guys think I'm stupid. Believe no, I didn't me. Think I, you're stupid. I, don't think you're stupid. I 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 did. I think you're. I, I think you're very is. smart, but I think I think for the game wise, I don't think you you still. I think you wear it on your sleeve too much. You're too like, I, I'm a good emotional. Person. I show yeah, you guys, I'm a good person. One hundred twenty, yeah. So uh, okay, so the 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 last twist is the the. So here's what I think. Here's what I think because the last twist, okay, they the traders had to agree on somebody, right? Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. And then that, yeah. I don't know who was the girl that grabbed uh, Kira's arm. What was her name? Uh, that was uh, not Catherine. What's her name? I'm, I'm oh, it was oh, um, well, that didn't, that didn't count because I think they said they had to shake hands. I yeah, so said, what I'm like... thinking, what I'm thinking now, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but what I'm thinking is because they didn't agree on, on the, the girl. I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. On that girl. They didn't agree on it. So even though the girl grabbed her hand and said, I trust you or whatever, well, whatever also, it was. No, no, I don't, think, I don't think she even said, I trust you. She like You're supposed to like shake hands and then say, I trust you, but I don't think she oh, even okay. said that. Whatever oh, the they, they, they I, left it, they left it off with a cliffhanger at the end on whether like Dylan was gonna say to Michael John that he trusted him or not. Um, but yeah, th I think they put in like this little twist because I remember they did it in the, the American UK one. one, I believe. The American no, they one. Did it, they um, did it with the glass of wine. You have to drink the glass. Um, you haven't even you haven't even watched the show. The Parvin. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So they did it with the chalice. I think they also did it with the UK. I believe. I don't know. Um, but I think doing that, um, it's kind of to like make the traitors more ob a little more obvious to the faithfuls. Cause then everyone goes around thinking, like, oh my God, um, who drank from a glass or like who who was around this person that just got murdered? And I think um Kira and um Netta are like throwing Michael John under the bus a little bit because they're um, ha tasking him with being the one to shake the person's hand. So now, when the people are suspicious after after he gets murdered, if they, if um, like they tell them that um, somebody was murdered in plain sight, everyone's gonna be looking at who was around Dylan, blah blah blah. And Michael John literally went into the room and, with everyone and was like, "Dylan, can I talk to you privately?" Worst idea ever. Yep. Because that's the thing, right? In a situation like that, if you're a trader, like you say, you you get you agree on whatever. Say uh, Michael John, whatever his name is, I can't remember his name. Mike, what's it called Michael? And yeah, just be in a and then you leave. He knows the the, the drill, but he's got to do, and you just stay in a big group. You make sure you're in the group with everybody, so they're always seeing you around everybody. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, I was with these people all night. Like this is who I was around. That person's clear because they were with me. All these people, we were all together. We're all clear. We're clearing each other. Uh, where were you, Michael? You know what I mean? It's like, where were you? I, we, you weren't with us. We That's can't clear you. So it's an easier way to just say, hey, we were all together when this happened. Like, there's no way I could have done this. We were all together. Um, but Michael wasn't here or whatever, you know. So yeah, I agree. It's it's a very easy way to, to to make. That's what I was trying to say in the stream last night. They're, they're, they're playing him off for stupid, and he's going along with it. He's got to put his foot down a little bit. Now, I did realize from one of the episodes to the other, it does seem like they did some sort of thing where it was like, okay, let us have this tonight, not Gail, and take out, who was it? Um, before uh, before he knocked there, they let them have, it was uh, the blonde woman. They let her go out, and then this week they agreed with him on things. So it seems like they said, okay, let us do this, let us do that. But they're also manipulating him. Like, he needs to be careful. Because, like, I agree 120% with Fierce. That was a big mistake. But then again, I don't think they're going to come forth to uh, the people and say I they think, were I think, honestly, like, as a trader, like, you have to get one of the traders out at least. Because the Faithfuls are going to be hungry for a trader. They want, like, they want to find one. And, you know, all the traders can't make it to the end. And also, if you get rid of more traders there's more money for you guys to split at the end so you kind of have to throw somebody under the bus so when's a good time to, for the traders to turn on the traders i feel like about now like i, I would say maybe the next episode the one after no. that I, when no. do you guys think i think i i think they're in a really good i don't think they should turn yet like maybe wait like one or two more episodes because right now the faithfuls are still turning on each other so let right. them vote each other out um let them vote each other murder keep murdering them um, and then, you know, closer to the end, maybe um, give them like one trader or like two. 
I feel like, like just, I, I agree. I agree with fear. I feel they got to absolutely be, if you're in there, you got to be looking at the people that aren't saying a word and be like, guys, let's, let's just take a shot over there. Like, fuck it. Let's just do it. I, mm -hmm. Again, I'm not, I don't know how it works. But you got to start throwing those. Again, nobody's saying Netta. Nobody. Nobody. And again, saying Netta. I, know. I like because I'm cheering for Netta, but so at the same time, that, as a viewer, what's that? It's so hard to do that because you got clicks. Like Fierce had her click. I had my click. It wasn't a culminated click. So it's so hard to get everybody on the same page because not everybody hangs out together, even in the car. I ride. was really good. I was really good at that. I t literally turned the whole house on Rick. Like, almost everyone voted for him because of me. You just got to be a very good social player, Dom. Well, then, well, then again, a lot. I got you. I got you to vote for Rick. A lot of That's people crazy, like hiding Dom. behind you as That's, well. Can we talk about it for a second? How did you vote out your paisan? How did you vote out Rick? I just I, could, I, I got it to Dom's head, and I convinced him he was a traitor. Well, Dom, Rick was throwing him under the bus. Like Rick kept saying that Dom was a faithful. I'm sorry, a traitor because he was smoking. For some, I don't know. Um, and I told him. So I, told, I, again, I, had a, I had a whole conspiracy theory and I told it to Dom and he believed it. No, once again, I took the information you provided to me. I put myself in a position to get that information released by someone else through Rick. And then once that happened, I said, okay, he's got to go. Because for me, I told him at the beginning, let's stick together. He clearly didn't want to listen. He was trying to say, I'm a traitor, this and that. And then at that point in time, I decided if he's not good for my game, he's got to go anyway. So whether he's a traitor or not, he's got to go. If he's telling everybody else I'm a traitor and people start to believe him, then I'm going to be gone. So yes. it wasn't like you just gave me the information and I said, oh, I better jump on this. I, I, I did a little bit of investigation work before I went forward with it. But if I had not given you that information, you would have voted for someone else. So I got you. I would have I went, went with the crowd. That's what I always did. I went with the crowd or I used the reason as to why. I was and the crowd was going crowd. with Rick because I got them to go that way. Honestly, even like Mel B, I turned like, like Kevin was the one who came with me to the idea of it being Mel B. And then when I saw her, like I observed her at breakfast, and then I was convinced she was a traitor. So I went to everyone. I was like, "It's not." So me. what? See, but that me, was that was me. all. That was also your biggest downfall too, because even though you thought you were leading the herd, you also put yourself in a position as to why you got kicked off. Yeah, because I threw a tantrum at breakfast over Kevin, and then he turned everyone against me. Because everybody's saying, "Well, we keep going with this person. We're hiding behind this person," but. Actually, no, but the reason I got kicked off wasn't even because of that. It was because of Koozie using the shield on our team and killing Crystal. And then everyone thought that I had the, sh or I had the shield and that I was a traitor. If that had not happened, I would have still been there. So, because that day, you like even the, that day, nobody was planning on voting for me. They were all planning on voting for Trevon. And then he gave up at the round table. Like the producers literally told me this, that nobody thought I was going home. Um, they gave Trevon gave up the round table. And then that whole shield th conspiracy theory came up. And then because everyone said they didn't have the shield, it somehow turned into me being a traitor. So you guys knew Mel B was a traitor very, very, very early on. How confident yeah. were you that she was like, did everybody know? Like it was like everyone, I, like, yeah, 100%. Well, I wasn't really like watching her the first day. I thought she was just like really excited to be there, which she was. Um, but the second day when Kevin was like, because after we um we got called out, we were like didn't know who to go for. So Kevin was like, watch Mel B. Um, and her reaction when she walked in, it was like the worst acting job I'd ever seen in my life. So I was like, she's a traitor. Um, yeah. So it was like for was, me, for every me, day I was pretty spend, locked in on that. Eh? I didn't. Well, spend no, much me and that. Kevin. Me and Kevin were the only ones who were like watching. No, Crystal. I think Crystal thought Mel B was a traitor too. Um, but. Me and Kevin were the only ones because we were sitting at the end of the table so we could see like everyone's reactions. And me and me and Kevin were the only ones who were actively watching Mel B when she walked in. And then I don't think anybody else was like paying attention. And then we kind of got everyone else on board with us. But yeah. Mel B did a really good job of defending herself at that round table because she was like bawling her eyes out. I kind of started feeling bad at, at that point. I was like, I don't know if she's a traitor. But then she was. Now, how does it feel? Because you got you got voted out. How does it? I would ask Dom, but we don't know because Dom didn't get voted out. So how does it feel when you everyone's it, putting that you pressure? Love it. You love it, eh? When everyone's oh, yeah. putting that pressure on you, like, okay, you know, Miss Fierce, it's you. How do you do? How do you? Well, just, like, how does that feel? And I, how do you get out of it? If you're not a traitor, yeah. it's simple, cool, calm, and collective. If you yeah, are a traitor, I, it's so hard to be calm, cool, and collective because you feel like they really got onto you. 
where the emotions start to come out and you heat yourself out. So with me, I like didn't really get a chance to defend myself because like I didn't see it coming. Nobody thought nobody was planning on like everyone even said when they voted for me, they're like, I don't think you're a traitor, but we're voting for you because we don't have to vote for it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Like that's what like Leroy said and a few other people. Um but with me, like the whole round, like Kevin brought up my name once at the round table and then it kind of like moved on. Like nobody really like kept talking about me. And then until the last it was like last five minutes when that whole shield theory came up um and then that just like came up out of nowhere and i didn't even like get a chance to like defend myself and then kareen was like okay time's up we have to vote so yeah i didn't get a chance to uh vote for myself but once i like saw that everyone was like oh my god they're gonna think that i have the shield yeah i, I don't know my heart just like sank and i was like they're gonna vote me out now i look suspicious watching no, I, back when i brought up the whole shield thing koozie was pissed no i got a question what, for what you. do you mean so when you on that episode, do you feel because I, I'm a, a true believer that the shield pr- should protect you from votes and and being killed. It, it just it's ridiculous that it only mm-hmm. it only shields you from being killed. I, I don't like that. I think mm-hmm. it should be a full safety for the day. You win it, you earn it, whatever it is, um, you're safe for the day. You can't get voted out. So, uh, what do you guys think of that? Do you, and do you think the That's shield a should Martin be bias, secret? Eh? What's that? That's a Kevin Martin bias. No, no, here's the thing. Ke- and Kevin did go out with a shield. And, and listen, Kevin's a very good friend of mine, but I don't care. Like, that's that's beyond that. I, I'm looking – I don't do it – I'm not looking at individual bases. I'm looking at the game as a whole. Um, I just – I don't think you should be able to get voted out with one, period. I, I think it's just a, a really yeah. bad system. I agree with that, too, I think. But I do think it's also smart to not say who has the shield because it kind of protects the whole group. Right. Because um, the traders can, like, take a shot in the dark and miss. Um, but yeah, I agree. They should also protect you from banishment. Yeah, I feel. I feel like, like I said, I feel like they they should just. I feel the shield should protect the whole way through. They're. Safe. I feel like. I feel like if it protected you from banishment, like more people would be gunning for the shield. There's like now, higher stakes with it. Can you? Yeah, but that's good. I think that adds a different layer to too. the game because then people are like, oh, well, they're a traitor. They're going, or they're not a traitor, or they're whatever. Like I think it adds a different element. Now, mm-hmm. if you have a shield, can you give it to somebody or no? No. Uh, no. See, like, I think that would be a cool play too. Like, say I win the shield, and you're you're my friend, fierce. You're you're on. Like, I know that the traders are coming to kill you tonight, but I'm like, yo, I want to keep fierce safe. I give you the shield. Boom, they try to snipe you. Well, too bad. You know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. I, I think that it's it's almost like a immunity necklace if you watch Survivor. You know, or well, a then, veto necklace. Then if you it watch kind of. Brother. If they did that, then that would kind of protect like everyone. Because like, let's say there's yeah. two teams, and the winning team, um. The winning team doesn't want to say who has the shield, so then that whole team is protected. But then you give the shield to someone on the other team who wasn't on the winning team, so then like kind of everyone's protected. I, that I like that because I feel like the tra- it's too easy of a game for a traitor. Because right mm-hmm. now they like there's just there's no way to to protect yourself or your friends from the traitor. If 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 I'm a traitor and and we all go to bedtime and say man tonight fierce, and then you wake up dead, which doesn't make any the sense. The only way really to like protect yourself from getting murdered which i was doing a great job at is to like have heat on yourself because the traders are never going to get like the loud ones out um but you have to find like the right way to ride where you're not like too loud and like you know putting too much suspicion on yourself you kind of have to like ride the middle yeah i could see it i could, I could definitely see it i just i think i just, again i feel like there should be more play with these with these uh with these shields i, I think i think adding in like that twist the twist with like the the handshake that's like smart because then that kind of gives the faithfuls a little bit more like, little things to like look for. Yeah, yeah. cuz right now it's, be, honestly man. it's it's a really hard game to play for the faithfuls. Like I feel like it's kind of like on almost every franchise like a trader has won. It's like so hard That's to win. That's why it's called traders. I it's just it, well the whole mm-hmm. system, right? Because they just replenish if they get voted out and you know yeah. blah blah blah. I just I agree. I think there should be more ways that the traders can either defend themselves or like not, not clues or anything but like just an easier way for them to find them <clears throat> because it's just you're shooting in the dark every time you're spinning around you're shooting mm-hmm. a bullet and whoever you hit goes and is it right is it wrong it's a, it's a coin flip and you don't know until they stand yeah. up and say yo i'm a faithful well obviously like the chances of you hitting a trader are so low when you're just going off of nothing you know there's there's nothing to go and there's off high of. numbers yeah when you know like, numbers, yeah, yeah. What's, mm-hmm. see, the way i always look at it is at first the traders have a massive advantage because the numbers are there and and like to, to actually vote one out early on is like pretty hard it, it'll happen you know mel b but it's hard but as as the numbers start dwindling, I feel like it shifts when there's like seven people left and there's two traders. Well, 
the odds, you know, because th- by then your 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 friendships and your bonds have established. Maybe you're friends with a trader, maybe not, whatever. But I feel like that it, it shifts. The bigger numbers, the traders have a huge advantage. As it dwindles down, I feel like people can get they're more comfortable with each other, whatever it is. And I feel like it's a little bit more obvious. Again, I've never played. I don't know, yeah. but that's how I see it. You know. And then, like the other thing too, is with the whole blackmail thing, you can't even say no. Yeah, you like, can. What do you mean? No what do you mean blackmail. No, you can't. Oh, uh, with blackmail. Well, they can. Re- no, it's not always blackmail. It's only blackmail if there's one trader left. I think. What do you mean blackmail? I don't even know what you mean. What does it mean? Well, like the blackmail. Blackmail. So there, there's recruitment and there's blackmail. So recruitment. Oh. I think there has to be at least like two traders. But blackmail is only if there's one trader left in the game. Right. And yeah. If like you say you no, you die. Right. Yeah, you have to leave. Yeah. You can't say no. Like it's that's unfair to that person. They played the whole game. They get blackmailed. Well, honestly, winning, it's easier to win as a trader. Like, why would 100%. you not want to be a trader? Like, Dom, you're co- you are complaining that you're <laughs> going to be a trader. Like, that's what you want, man. You don't no, want to be a faithful bro. No, because, like, if someone played from the beginning all the way up to the that's close, the like, best. pretty much the last episode yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's what you want, man. Like, you still don't understand it. Honestly, you want. being a trader, like, you have, you have all the power as a trader. You get to, like, yeah. get rid of people. All you have to do is fly under the radar, not get on, not be suspicious, and yeah, it's so much easier to win at the end as a trader. Hundred, like Dom. Honestly, if you could make it to the end on your season and they recruited you, you would have won, man. If you, I know, you, just, if I'm you got recruited, what had happened? What had happened with us? Like when Dom. Mickey got changed over to a trader, he didn't. No, want when to- Mickey, well, Mickey. So Mickey got no. It was smart to recruit Mickey because Mickey is the worst traitor ever like he, mickey's too nice of a person to be a traitor and from what i heard when um when mickey got recruited his whole demeanor changed yeah, he would not talk to anyone that whole day because he was so nervous and it just made everyone like it was so obvious that mickey had gotten that's recruited. what i'm saying like he didn't no, have the no which is which is no no but that's it's smart to do because then it, it protects the like original traders for me, no, I get for it. me, it's saying, like, like you, say, no, you can't like that's if you're a fa- now again, my opinion here on it. If you're a faithful the whole way through and they recruit you at the end, you're already like hard cleared by your crew, your click, whatever you want to call it. Now, all of a sudden you're a trader. You know what I would do? I'd love if that. I became a trader at the end. I would turn on the original traders and have that voted out. And then everyone's like, oh, my God, you're faithful. You uh, for me, I'm playing right now. I would love that's to me. That's the if you can survive as a faithful deep in, get recruited at the end as a trader, and you're in there. You have all your you've played the whole game as a faithful. You could still just have that mindset. Pretend you're still a faithful. You change the title, but you're still you know you're now you're a trader, but you're still a faithful in your mind. Play it through. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, and uh, and to me that's that's the that's the the easiest ride to the end. Um, I like it. I like it yeah, a lot. Yeah, but then again, the original trader. The original trader could do that to the person they just brought in and make it look like he's the faithful because he got yeah, that. Yeah, you trader. have the connections all the way through. And then you'd be like, why are you looking at me? You have your buddies or whatever that you already click with. And you just but say, at oh, that point in time, a trader. so deep in the game, they've made, they've come to a, a point where there's so small numbers. They all have conversed. So, like, they'll all be close at the end. I just, I feel Not like. necessarily because Mike, unless, Mike unless wasn't, flash. Mike wasn't like really close with anyone the entire game and he's still on. He was just able to like really get up talking to people and convincing them that he's a faithful. And he wasn't and saying you, you, and you go inside. You, you, yeah. you come with me, Dom. <laughs> That's because he wasn't the real godfather of the house. Yeah, and he won. <laughs> Neither were you. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are that was so much fun. Miss Fierce, Dom, you guys I love you guys. You guys are awesome. So uh anything <laughs> you want to say, Dom, Fierce, anything you guys want to say on the way out? Fuck Kevin Martin. Well, oh, I would. I, would so have said that. I love Kevin, but uh, yeah, there you go. It's, it's free speech. Everybody, what, what, what would you like, Dom? You're, you're really hating that much since the show. Dom, yeah. What do you want to say, no. Dom? <laughs> I don't got much to say at all. I just can't wait to see if Dylan really gets the boot, and then we'll see what happens with Michael John. I, I, I'm gunning for Michael John to go a little bit further and case, uh, create chaos between Netta and Kira. I want Kira to have some heat on her and see how she does with the heat. If she does good I'm with the Netta. heat, I give her the win. I'm Team Netta, man. I, I just I, I, I two v one, baby. Let's go. I like I like Netta. I, I here's actually a fun. I'll tell you a little fun little history about Netta and I. 
uh, after she played on season two, I played on season three. We were not friends. We didn't get along uh, at all. We never talked. Post Big Brother, once I got out of the house, she never reached out. I never reached out. We never talked. We go into season five together. I'm like in my head. I'm going. I'm going to get. I know if I'm getting called, Ned is getting called. I'm going to get Ned out week one. We're going to send her home first. Boot. See you later. We get in the house. Come very good friends. We've been good friends ever since. That's just the way it goes. But yeah, I, I, my my and whole mindset going out. into season five. I'm like, I know Ned is coming, and I'm going to get her out right away. And ended up being uh, my my close Kevin and Ned, or my my closest allies. You know, that's just the way it goes. So the only thing I never asked you, Fierce, is how did you get into all of this? The what? Just like the whole drag race and like where did it all start for you? Drag race I applied for, like you have to apply for the show. And then Traders, they begged me to be on the show. And then Canada vs. the World, they begged me to be on that one too. Mm. So, so Canada you applied the what is that? a couple years ago. Canada vs. the World is like it's it's drag it's all stars for Canada's drag race. So awesome. it's like they have contestants from they have contestants from like all of the different franchises of the world. They come to Canada and like we compete like in an all stars version. Was that the one? Yeah, that was on the. They had commercials of that on the radio when we were down there. No, or was that something else? No, I think that was Drag Race because Canada vs. World. They just filmed this year. Just came out this year. Oh, amazing, amazing. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on. That was amazing. That was the best one yet. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna have you on as many times. You, you just say anytime you want to come on, and and you're here. We got you. All right. <laughs> amazing. Great insight. Here, Dom, take notes. Here, you know Tristan. <laughs> Dom, take Who? notes. Yeah, you know Tristan, who's with uh, Boris. Dom, what are you? Yeah, what, I, we're talking. We're in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> sorry, bud. Sorry. Where's bud. your social social awareness, Dom? We're. <laughs> can we have a conversation? Can, can Fierce and I have a conversation here? Go ahead. Go ahead. Say, Thank you. So, I just was gonna say thank you so much for coming. I actually I really enjoyed this. This was so much fun. It was great hearing your insights. I think you absolutely understand the game. Like this is so fun to talk to someone that understands the yeah. game because I'm used to talking to <laughs> maybe, Dom all the maybe, time. Maybe you guys don't know You're the right. deep down, deep down of the game. You're right. You know You're the right. face value of the game. Dom. Everyone's wrong. Everyone's okay. wrong with Dom. That's that's uh, this is Every, very right. great to be able to have some, these conversations. At some point in time, I'm gonna get it through that trick thick skull of yours that maybe it's a lot more deeper than you think listen you're right i dom please teach everybody he fooled all of us he is it's just the, unfortunate the way it went down for me yeah. where i got the purple edit and it showed absolutely nothing all right so right, that's right. why everybody thinks so oh, which, stupid, which you did to yourself because of your genius plan your actions dom Actions yeah, have consequences, yeah, consequences. Dom. I said it. I said it on the eTalk interview. I let my emotions get to me. Yep, I fucked up. Okay, well there you go. There you have it. So whose fault is it? You know what? Wait, do you know what's so funny? Dom just had to prove to everyone that he was a faithful when nobody even thought he was a traitor. The like, Dom was not on anyone's radar. I believe that a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like that's what I was saying, and, and we all everyone in the chat were like, Dom is like hundred percent cleared. Like, how do you? How could you even suspect him as being a traitor? It's one hundred percent cleared, and and in a game like the this, only person who's radar you were on was like, you know, that so, little yeah. that little tweak threw threw me in a position where I said I have to fucking get this guy out of here because someone said because you were what, you're, you're down by one percent, it sent you over the fucking. <laughs> it's not edge. enough. It's not enough, and you know what? That's because it was my first time on a reality show like that. That was actually like a social thing, not a renovation thing, and for me. I brought real life into there. If you were That's solid with you, me, that was I was problem, solid right there. to you. If you were loyal to me, <laughs> I was loyal to you. I would never go behind your back. And I was going to play with the biggest, most integrity anybody could in that game and still get to the end. And I had a good show, place. On a show called The Traders, you're going to play with integrity. Yeah. Great plan, That's... Dom. <laughs> I've had this conversation with him 400 times. He doesn't get it. God bless you. Maybe you guys don't get it. You're right, dude. <laughs> Dom. I love you, but man, you uh, you you make me age, dude. But I love you very much. That's okay. That's okay. We're entertaining the people at home. You're amazing, buddy. Fierce. <laughs> thank you so much once again, Dom. Thank you so much once again. Uh, thanks we're gonna, for, thanks for having me. We're gonna do this again. Like we're me. absolutely gonna do this again. So one thing I want to do eventually, if if you guys, if you want, and if you want to talk to your cast, I was thinking we could get all of season one or as many as you want. We could come or as many as you want. Okay, and we'll sit here and do a little. Uh, I'll be the host. I'll be I'm, Corinne. And we'll I wanted do a to do. Show. No, I wanted. I wanted to do a reunion. They wouldn't let me. But I was. I wanted to host like the whole like and do it like virtual. 
They said no. Yeah, well, they don't own me, baby. So I'm going to come and I'll do it. If you guys want to come on to my stream and do it live, we can do that. They uh, they can't tell me no. So if uh, if you guys ever want to do that, get your cast. Come on in here and chat. We'll definitely. Uh, it's up to you guys. so hard. Huh? Huh? It's going to be so hard. Well, of course, not everyone's going to want to go. But if, you know, we get four, five, six, ten people, eleven people, whatever, man, we'll do it, you know. What pa- what party kept you up late enough to the point where you couldn't get up early enough, sunshine? Oh my god, Dom! You this guy wants to start a whole. We're literally wrapping up, and this guy starts a okay, whole new okay. conversation. Read the All right, Dom. Dom, was, Dom was like, "Were you at the Big Brother party?" And I was like, "The one in February, yeah." And apparently, there was one last year. I don't know. No, I was not at that time. You went to the BB Can Twelve one. Yeah. That's the, that's the only one I haven't gone to. You know that? I went to every single... I, uh, oh, really? I um, I went to... Well, the finale, like, viewing was at, like, a, this, like, restaurant down the street from me. Mm-hmm. And then Peter throws this, like, um event at Ultraviolet. It was, like, out at this club, Ultraviolet. And then um, I snuck myself in there. I took Anil's wristband. And then Anil got mad at me. And then, no, Anil took Cindy's, Cindy's wristband. And then Cindy didn't have a wristband, didn't pay for one. So then Peter wouldn't let her into the club. And then I went out and, and I got Cindy a wristband. Amazing. You know what? Oh, no, that... he let her into the club. He let her in the club, but he wouldn't let her in the VIP section. That's my favorite story of the night, I'll tell you right now. Um, but anyway. Uh, I have a... no clue who O'Neal is. Anil. He was on season one of Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, unfortunately. Dom, we gotta Sorry, get him caught up on on reality. We gotta get him caught up in the in the. We gotta. I get wanna, him... I wanna, listen. I listen. I wanted to take a, after this reality show. I wanted to take a shot at the Big Brother. They they shelved it because those people aren't entertaining enough. Clearly. <laughs> okay, Dom, said... you're the answer. <laughs> Dom's the fucking answer. That's of course. Okay, Dom, Dom is the solution. Dom is <laughs> just he knew the traitors. He fucking would have won. He he's the best Big Brother player. Could you imagine Dom? Dom that fooled the entire world. He's the greatest player. Oh ever my played. god! Everyone's Could wrong. you imagine Dom on oh, Big Brother? I think he's gonna be like sent home first, Dom. Um, if Dom was on, they would. Yeah. I was sent home first on Bruno's org, though. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. You know what org is? The online reality game we did one and we invited Dom and he was the first boot. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's obviously like, you know, being in the stream and oh, I joke okay, around. And dog, I'm, I'm other excuse. There's always an answer. If I went to Big Brother, the people would know who I was. Okay, it's always an answer. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks again, uh, Miss Fierce. Thank you. Uh, I'll definitely put your socials. I'm gonna. This will be on YouTube. I'm going to put this up on YouTube. We're going to put uh, all the socials below. We'll make sure we follow uh, Miss Fierce. And Dom, you guys know Dom. Same thing. We're going to put the socials below. Um, I really, really appreciate it. This was great. This was a really, really good chat. And uh, we'll have to do this again. We'll have to do it again. Mm-hmm. All righty. I'm out of here. Fierce. 12 right. p.m. next time, not 9.30. Oh, you see that? No, that... Tell tell me I was too early in the day. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. This is great. I so. woke I woke up and I was like, Dom, I'm not feeling well. And he's like, Oh, um, um, oh, you probably caught what um what I had last week. And I was like, a hangover? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a hangover for me. Dom has all the answers, of course. I had a sinus infection. All right. I'm oh. out of here, guys. Yeah, Thank I you so it. much. <laughs> Bye. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.